welcome back to another video on my channel. So today is a really exciting day. I've just had a delivery arrive and basically I'm gonna be setting up my mobile nail technician kit. Now, some of you might be thinking, Izzy, you're a home-based studio, like, why do you need a mobile kit? As some of you may know, I do a lot of teaching and training and that kind of thing for qualified nail tech, skill building lessons, nail art courses, that kind of thing. And I run some masterclasses in which I need to travel to different location other than the studio. I've literally been using Sainsbury's bag and like carry bags to put all my kit in. And I thought something needs to change. I need to get a little bit more professional and look a little bit more snazzy and put together and get my organization. Blah, 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 blah organization on point for my mobile kit because you guys know I love organization so I love organization my whole studio is organized so why do I not have a mobile nail kit and I thought I would just film the process of me getting the kit setting it all up and packing so it's currently Saturday the 19th of September I don't think it's gonna focus no nope, and it's gone and I have got a mask class the end of next week so yeah the last weekend in September with my friend Polish Braliana Starbuck over on Instagram and it's in Nottingham so I'm gonna be traveling about three and a half four hours so I need to set up my nail kit for that and it has just arrived and I'm so excited the box is literally here let me show you so I've got the box, I've opened it up slightly, but I haven't had a proper look yet. And I thought I'd unbox it with you guys and set my kit up ready for next week because it needs to be done. And I'm really excited to get packing, get organizing. And I thought you guys are fellow organization lovers and I'm sure that you guys would love to see behind the scenes. And I also thought it'd be really interesting for those of you guys who are mobile tech to kind of see another mobile tech set up, that kind of thing. Hopefully it's helpful and yeah, hopefully you enjoy, but let's get into organizing and unboxing. Okay guys, I'm just gonna hand the camera over to Teresa. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> My mum, aka. And she's just going to film me unboxing this so you can see because I can't set the camera up high enough so you can see. So I'm just going to flip the screen around so she can oh, see what she's filming. That helps. There we go. So this is the parcel. I'm literally so excited. Okay, I'm going to grab it out. I have not even kind of opened it. I'm just going <gasps> to. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, love me, love you. <laughs> okay. Let's get this guy out. I'm so excited. I kind of always look at other people's mobile kits when they come to the training classes and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait until I have a snag, sna snaggy, snazzy bag of my own. Okay, so this is the bag. So for those of you who want to know what bag it is, it's from Biosculpture and it's, it's in collaboration with Rue Beauty. So Rue Beauty bag, but for Biosculpture. I think that's the correct information. I'll leave a link in the description box down below for you guys like the look of it and want to get it or anything. But yeah, this is the bag that I chose. I love the black, sleek, classy look. So yeah, I want to have a closer look now. So I'm going to take over the camera and show you more. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, here is the bag. I hoped I would have it for my masterclass that I just did on Monday Just Gone, but unfortunately it didn't arrive in time. But it arrived finally and I'm so excited. I feel like first of all I just wanna have a look through and see what it's about. So by the looks of things, you've got quite a big compartment on the top. I'm wondering if my lamps will be able to fit in the top. I'm hoping one of my lamps will, having to do this little one-handed. Oh yeah perfect fit and then this is the bit that made me really want this bag because of the little three cube sections i also really like i don't know if you guys follow any like makeup artists or anything like that i have a little bit of an obsession with makeup too and i love watching all their makeup kits and stuff like that and quite a few of them have I forgot what they're called. I think they're called, I don't know what they're called, but they're like the really well-known makeup kit bags that are like a trolley and they have all these cube inserts in them. And when I saw this and saw it, it was kind of similar with the little cube inserts, I went giddy. I was a little bit excited because I literally am obsessed with it. But yeah, that's the reason why I wanted this bag because it was similar to the other cubey thing from the makeup artists have, so yeah. So this, is that size so you've got a little zip there where you undo and it lays flat which is handy little zippy pocket there and then three cubes on the inside hey guys i've changed over cameras because my other camera ran out of 
battery, the trusty Canon G7X Mark II. Ran out of battery. I've even got two batteries for it as well and they both run out. So I've swapped over cameras to my other camera. Oh, this works. You can still see it. So that's really cool. So let's have a look inside. I'm literally so excited to see these. So these are the individual cases. You can see it's got the little Rebeauty sign on it. I know Rebeauty do so many different cases as well, which is really cool. I've actually got, which I might use, another Rebeauty case upstairs. It's small. It's like probably about this big and you can put like nail art bits and stuff in it. Anyway, yeah, so it's Rebeauty and Biosculpture. So you can actually see into it. What's in storage? Oh, it's got foam. Okay, cool. So I guess you can use that if you've got circular polish bottles to put them inside. My polish bottles are square, so I'm not sure if they'll fit inside. Probably not. But I'm probably not going to use these anyway. I've got my polish bottles and then I also have little jars of gel as well. Oh, they fit in perfectly. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I could probably fill this up with my little jars. Yeah, they fit in there perfectly. I could potentially even like double stack them as well. But I think what I'm gonna do, to be honest, is take these little foam inserts out. I think this would be better if you had like round polish bottles, but mine are square. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack all my polishes in there like that and do the lid up. I'm hoping I can fit all of my polishes into two cases and then all my pots into one so it's kind of like all a little bit more divided up we'll see i'm going to pack my kit after i've had a look through it first of all just to get some ideas of what i want to do so i've got three of these in there and it has the huge open space and then they've got the little handles which i like because then you can take it out and move it around which is good and they're quite firm they're like firm on the edges which is cool so that's those three You've got the pocket on the front here, the pocket on the top, and then you've got two huge pockets on the side. I wonder if the lamps fit into the side pockets as well. Oh my gosh! So the lamps, the gel lamps also fit into the side pockets. So if you have two lamps, I have two lamps, and you're mobile, you could put your two lamps either side. So that works. And then you could put your like desk light in the top here. I will only use one lamp to take with me while I'm training. So I think I will probably leave my lamp in the top section. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, you've got a little pouch here that opens up. So you can put stuff in there, probably good for your like, phone and stuff. And then this, and I'm assuming what this is, is if you've got a suitcase or something, you can slide it over the suitcase. But yeah, I'm really excited to get packing this. I think we should start packing because I'm excited. I don't know about you. <sighs> okay, right. Let's start packing my kit. I think I'm going to start with my gel polishes and fill up my cubes with that and see how many I can fit in. Beatrice has come in to help. Hi there. Can I help you? What you doing in here? Come to help pack my kit. Right, let's get packing. I feel like it's gonna take me a minute, so let's just get cracking. gosh guys i'm so happy so this is what it's looking like with it in full with gel so i have got i don't even know how many but i've literally cleared off my bottom two shelves of polish i've only got two more shelves of polish left to pop in the containers so that means that they will definitely fit in the two containers which is what i really wanted and that is so good i can fit and they don't move around i feel like they're not like i can hold that on its side they're not moving around and not clattering about. That is so good. I can fit. There's probably at least 50 gel polishes in there. Obviously, it will depend on your size of your bottles and the shapes and stuff. But they really comfortably fit in there, standing upright as well, which is really nice. I want to keep them as upright as possible. And I can still look through because I've left all of the colour swatches on them so I can look through and see what colours I've got. I also today went and bought these from the range in the UK. They're these little sticky dots and I found them 
in really tiny circles and slightly large circles and they're foam adhesives and I was thinking about painting the tops of them in the gel colour and sticking them out on the top because that might be slightly easier because sometimes these little nail ring things they can kind of slide off so yeah but apart from that I'm really happy and I think what I'm then also going to do is try now in here and see how many of the little pot gels I can fit in here. Okay, I think I fit as many as I possibly can in one layer. I potentially, I think I might be able to have a little bit of a jiggle around and fit some of my little smaller bottles around the outside, potentially. That might work okay. Yeah, I think I can fit another row in. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Makes me so happy. They literally fit perfectly. Then I can stack them on top of each other. Ah, yes. Okay, since last checking in with you guys, I managed to squeeze another six polishes in here. I think I might have slightly overfilled it, like you can see them digging into the top. But to be honest, I think it'll be all right, you know. So I'm just gonna pop that in as the first layer. And then I have finished filling up this guy here. So I've got all of them. I love how they're in here because then you can take them out and set them to the side so I can see literally all my colours really clearly. So I'm going to pop this next layer in, do it up first. I reckon, actually, I might be able to fit another layer on top like this. I totally can as well. That means I can fit so many than I realised. I'll be able to take, I thought I was only going to be able to take like a few colours with me. I think I'll be able to take near enough of my whole gel collection. Sorry, I'm literally concentrating as I'm doing this. So sorry if my words are a bit weird. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. This, are they going to stay? Are they going to stay? That one's tipped. This is hard to do one handed as well. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys literally you can fit three layers and they don't they kind of jiggle slightly but they don't completely tip upside down so i've got three layers of my bio pot gels in there so i'm gonna pop that in there so you can kind of see actually now that it's starting to fill up you can see that they're like they're so solid and sturdy i'm just gonna pop the third and final pouch in the top if i can get it in okay i had to use both my hands because the only way i can describe it is the bag kind of goes up inside a little bit so you just have to tuck it under two hands is definitely required my lamp is definitely going in here i think i might add, add a little towel into my bag as well so i'm going to put a couple of these towels in i will fold them up properly eventually but Pop them on the top there. Vlogging and packing a nail kit is quite hard. I quite like the idea of doing that as well because I feel like it protects it. Although it does feel like it's padded, which is good. So I can zip this up now. Again, doing it one handed. <laughs> okay, cool, that's good. And I've got room down the side, so I'm just gonna put my plug socket in there for the lamp in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's coming together so nicely. I don't know about anyone, but this just, Makes me so happy and so satisfying. Okay, so down the sides, I'm just gonna add my bottles of cleanser and that kind of thing down the side. Oh, just hit the camera. Remover. That's just some more remover, backup remover, so I don't need that. Don't know if you're about to see in there, but there's loads of Oh my goodness! I've just noticed inside the bag, there's little elasticated bands on the inside two rows of them so i guess i can oh my gosh that's so clever hang on guys i think i'm gonna have to put the camera down so this is the before and this is the after so i don't know if you can see but they are in the elastic bands are holding them in which is incredible because it keeps them upright and that means that there's gap underneath to put stuff i am literally so chuffed right now if, i mean if you know me which you guys probably do if you're watching this video or hey if you know you know organization is my thing and it makes me so happy this is just making me so happy ah!
So I've got all of my navy tools that I want to pop away. I'm just gonna go over into here. I've got a drawer full of, here we go, some more storage bits. So I've got this, which is like a pencil case holder thing, which I love and use. But I just want my little navy pouch where I'm gonna put all my little tools in. So I'll do that. I think I'm going to put my navy tools maybe in here because then I'm thinking they'll be sitting upright against the bags they'll be protected by all of the little trays that go along here which are all padded and this front section here is also really padded so I just want to make sure my navy tools are all protected I'm just gonna slot that in there I think I think I'll probably move this around a few times as well just to make sure it works for me. Okay, so I've just grabbed some nail files and I'm going to pop these in here as well. Because honestly, there's plenty of room. Put this little bright green one in. And what else do I need? Oh, I'm going to put my little sanitizer spray in there as well. May as well. There we go. See this one here. Okay, perfect, spread it all out a little bit. I hope this all fits. I'm literally shoving everything I can in here. But yeah, I hope you guys like this, because this is obviously not something that I've done before, because I'm not a mobile tech, I work from home, but with training and stuff, I need a mobile kit. So it's been, it's quite nice to show you some organization, or my organization, because this is the first time for me as well, doing it for my kit, I hope this fits. Oh my gosh, it does, this is so exciting. Let's see if I can do this with one hand oh my gosh i can and it is nice and padded i feel completely safe with that okay this one i think i'm going to fill up with all my nail art stuff because i thought i was going to put all this stuff in there but now it all fits in there so that's kind of like another compartment in itself it's quite a thick one like i could definitely fill it up with loads more stuff i might even put my limp pads in there as well and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all my nail art bits and bobs in there This is kind of like a help me pack video. I want all my essence flakes. They're coming with me. I also want some of my magpie flakes. Because they're beautiful. I'm going to bring all of them with me. Oh my gosh. That is so many. But yeah, I want to bring all of them with me. I am also going to bring with me a few chrome powders. I'm bring a couple of them. And also I reckon these two, which are gold and silver. They can go in there as well. I think that'll be that. And I think I'm gonna bring a couple of my holographic glitters. So I'm gonna go for the silver beautiful pink I think the white and the blue pack those with me also gonna pack these guys with me they're stunning these little like rainbow flakes they're gonna come with me what else oh yeah I'm definitely gonna pack some shells because I do often use shells in my work so I think I'm gonna pack some of these guys yeah, we'll go for them. Also going to pack some gold leaf and I've already popped some in this little envelope. So this here is a massive book full of gold, copper and silver leaf. I'm never going to go through it and I've put a sheet of each colour in there. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And then I'm also going to bring with me some dried flowers. So I'm just going to grab a few of them. And some of the little other style flowers in there as well. Honestly, I've got so much room. This bag honestly feels like the TARDIS. I feel like I'm totally going to be overpacking this now as well. Because I've got so much room. I feel like I'm going to be taking so much stuff with me I don't actually need. Right, I also need to pack with me some brushes. Ah, that's what I'm going to do. So I think what I'll do is use my pencil case here. This was from... Amazon actually it was in a Amazon haul video you guys might have already seen it so I think I might just 
bring this with me and pop all of my brushes in here and all like my other brushes and tools and like sponges and that kind of thing and then i'm hoping it's gonna fit into that side pocket there that's the aim anyway so i'll sort that out in a minute that's the next job some nail art gels acrylic paints that kind of thing all needs to go in here too I think I'm pretty much covered for all my nail art and this is not even full the only thing I am missing from here is transfer foil however you guys would have seen if you guys follow me over on Instagram you might have seen my storage and organization for all my files I pop them in these little business card holders here so they go like this and then I have all my foils in here so rather than taking them out and only like packing a couple with me I think I might just bring the whole the whole lot and just pack them so yeah oh I also need to bring with me some limp pads some gloves so I'm gonna pop a few pairs of gloves in my nail art bag as I've got lots of space and I think I will fill up a separate bag of them. And then in here, I believe I should have, yeah, a couple of my little nail art wheels. So I'm going to put them in there because that'll be what I'm doing demos on. I think that is me set and ready to go with my nail art bag. And then I just want to sort out all my brushes. I think what I'm going to do is just bring a ton of brushes with me. Just because then anyone that doesn't have any brushes with them, they can always use mine as well. Right, my brushes and stuff are all packed up. I might add a few more in before I leave. So I'm just going to pack this all up and I might show you actually how it like holds on together because I'm not sure really what's going on here. I'm not sure whether you, because there's a little clip here. Oh, is that for like a short hold? I'm so confused. Anyway, we'll figure that out in a minute. That is such a perfect fit. And I'm just gonna see, because I have got four of these folders, how many I can fit in and if I can fit them in down here. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, they fit. Oh, they fit perfectly as well. So I'm gonna pop one down the side there. One in the middle. I wonder if I can fit another. Guys, they fit so perfectly. That's great. And I'm gonna see if I can fit my last one in. Oh my god. Honestly, this bag is like a TARDIS. I didn't think it would fit this much stuff in. I could probably fit another one in there. I reckon I can definitely fit another one in there. Like there is space down the side there. There's space on top that I can pop stuff in there as well. So I'm just gonna do this guy up. Fabulous. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a long strap, there's a long strap. That makes sense now. Okay, so there's a long strap with a shoulder pad. And then, so that must be a shorter strap. Oh, oh so there's two. You can hold it like that, or you can hold it over your shoulder. Okay, I'm loving it. And I can, I thought I was gonna have to have another bag for all my nail art, but I can literally fit everything in here. Hey. <laughs> So this is what the bag looks like on. Honestly, I, I cannot believe how much stuff I fit in here. I mean, it definitely looks a lot bigger now that it's filled out. I've just noticed on the bottom of the bag, I'll try it and zoom in on the bottom. But can you see, it's got like little grippy pads, I guess, for when you're putting your bag down on the floor and you're at least you're nice and 
safe and your bag's protected on the bottom. And I've still got so much room. I'm all ready to go. I've currently got it on the little shoulder strap here. Oh, it's so good. It's so easy to carry. Oh, I'm proper chuffed. And all my stuff fits in there really nicely. And it seems nice and steady and strong. And then I've also got this little handle here, which is cool. So I guess I could hold it like this if I want. Wait, let me see if I can swap over hands why i am holding it with my least strongest arm i do not know but yeah that is bag so i guess i could lift it off like this if i wanted to and carry it like this i'm well chuffed with that and then if i've got my suitcase with me as well i can pop it on the back of the suitcase with, with a little strap that's on the back so yeah i'm probably chuffed with that and i really like how the front's plain as well you have got a little logo there and on the side over here and on the side around there but that's it and i just think it looks nice and sleek i'll pop it down on the floor and give you guys a little closer look what do you guys use i'm in intrigued to know what you guys use for mobile because yeah as i said I'm, I'm not a mobile tech i've only been teaching and going mobile that way so that's why i need this for teaching so yeah i'm proper chuffed with it i'm really happy it definitely is a big improvement to using a sainsbury shopping bag isn't it and i'm so, i cannot believe how much stuff it fits inside so yeah that is the finished bag and organization let me know guys if you would like me to do some more mobile tech storage hacks because i'm sure i will be ordering more storage for being mobile in the future so this probably won't be the last like mobile tech kind of bag video and i'll be interested to know what you guys use and if you've got any recommendations for being mobile and like kind of kit bag and storage that'd be really helpful but yeah i'm really happy i want to go on my master class now so excited but yeah i'm gonna sign off because this video is probably gonna be a long one and fill up the rest of the last couple of bit bits in my bag and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed right through until the end i'll see you guys in the next video bye